Hello friends, I am Sharyu Pujari and I am an educator on Unacademy. You can follow me on Unacademy Learning app where you will find my other courses as well. So this lesson is on some one mark MCQs that is multiple choice questions related to activated sludge process of treatment of wastewater. So please do rate, review and recommend my courses and lessons. Do share this video and subscribe us on YouTube channel. Thank you. Hello friends, welcome to an academy and this lesson on one mark MCQs or multiple choice questions related to activated sludge process by Sharyu Pujari. About me, I am a verified educator on an academy, done my MTech in Environmental Science and Technology and BE in Civil Engineering plus two years of experience in teaching and you can follow me on this link so please follow me because you will get notified every time i publish a new lesson or new course on this platform as well as this is my profile on an academy learning app where you can find my other courses as well so this was my previous course so please do rate review and recommend my courses and lessons share this video and subscribe us on youtube channel so let's start with this lesson the first question is that the activated sludge is the option a is aerated sludge in sludge in the aeration unit option b is sludge settled in the humus tank option c is sludge in the secondary tank after aeration and rich in microbial mass and option d is sludge in the secondary tank after aeration and rich in nutrients so friends uh, let me uh, clear you that the settled sludge in secondary uh, sedimentation tank is called the activated sludge right and it is rich in microbial mass and not in nutrients so here option c is the correct option that is activated sludge is the so actually it is a sludge containing a large concentration of highly active aerobic microorganisms right so it is the sludge in the secondary tank after aeration and rich in microbial mass so option c is the correct option for this question so the next question is in a conventional activated sludge plant the oxygen demand is highest near the option a is inlet end of aeration tank option b is outlet end of a the aeration tank option c is inlet end of clarifier and option d is outlet end of the clarifier for this uh, purpose i have provided a diagram here that is my activated sludge process diagram so here you can see the uh, see, uh, the sewage or waste water is flowing through the aeration tank then it goes to the secondary clarifier then the recycling sludge is there so this is the process of activated sludge process that we have seen in my lesson please do refer that so let me tell you how does this uh, activated sludge process is uh, carried out so generally this activated sludge that i have so activated sludge is a sludge containing a large concentration of highly active aerobic microorganisms this activated sludge is mixed with raw sewage along with large quantity of air right uh, for about four to eight hours in a aeration tank then settled sludge in secondary sedimentation tank is called activated sludge and it is again recycled right recycled to the head of the aeration tank to be mixed with the sewage being treated so this recycled is again head of the aeration tank so the, here we get our answer so it is the inlet end of aeration tank so in a conventional activated sludge plant the oxygen demand is highest near the and here you can see they ha, they are asking that what is the oxygen demand right so here uh, you can see the organism growth is maximum at the starting point and it decreases with the time right it decreases with the time and here we, you can see the organism die due to lack of food so at the starting point there is a, a there is more oxygen demand right because here the organisms for this reason you can refer my lesson on secondary treatment in that i have provided the microorganism growth uh, graph right so there you can understand this phenomenon so this at this 
पॉइंट सो इन अ कन्वेन्शनल एक्टिवेटेड स्लज पॉइंट द ऑक्सीजन डिमांड दे आर आस्किंग अबाउट इज हाइएस्ट नियर द इनलेट एंड ऑफ एरिएशन टैंक सो इट इज हाइएस्ट नियर द इनलेट पॉइंट बिकॉज हियर ऑर्गेनिजम्स ग्रोथ इज मैक्सिमम सो हियर द ऑक्सीजन रिक्वायर्ड इज मैक्सिमम एज कंपेयर टू अदर राइट सो इट इज द इनलेट एंड ऑफ एरिएशन टैंक सो ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन सो लेट सी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन so the next question is the aeration process adopted in an activated sludge plant which ensures optimal utilization of air is known as option a is conventional process option b is step aeration option c is activated aeration and option d is tapered aeration so friends these all are the parts of the modifications of conventional activated sludge process so what happens in conventional process is that in conventional activated sludge process constant amount of oxygen is supplied from inlet to outlet of an aeration tank so what happens but the oxygen is supplied uh, constantly but the utilization is not constant right at the starting point at inlet the oxygen uh, utilization more than it decreases right so therefore huge amount of uh, oxygen supply is unused so it bring down the operating cost and uh, uh, so they, it is costly right conventional process so the optimal utilization of air is actually uh, done in the tapered aeration and this too i will be explaining in my lesson on mod modification of conventional activated sludge process right so let's see what is tapered aeration so here you can see the diagram as i have showed the diagram of activated sludge process in that aeration tank if you consider in that aeration tank here oxygen is not supplied constantly right here the variation or tapered aeration is provided here in this process it ensures higher supply at the inlet higher oxygen supply at the inlet and it gradually decreases as sewage moves towards the outlet right so process this process is based on the fact that as mixed liquor progresses through the aeration tank its air requirement goes on reducing so such a process therefore helps us in ensuring optimal apps application of air in the area aeration tank so that's the reason why option d is the correct option for this question so the aeration process adopted in an activated sludge plant which ensures optimal utilization of air is known as the tapered aeration and this other type of uh, modifications of activated sludge process i will be explaining in my lesson which will be on uh, modifications of conventional activated sludge process right so the next question is recirculation in activated sludge process is uh, is done to first is dilute the incoming sewage b option b is dampen the effect of flow variation option c is operate the plant continuously and option d is supply seed material to the aeration tank so friends generally we do recycling process because to supply the seed materials to the aeration tank in an activated sludge process right for that purpose only we do recirculation so we supply the seed materials to the aeration tank so the option d is the correct option for this question so the next question is mean cell residence time for activated sludge process is option a is 4 to 8 hours option b is 20 to 30 days option c is 30 to 40 days and option d is 4 to 15 days so let me tell you that the sludge age or mean cell residence uh, we can say mean cell residence time that is theta c we denote it as theta c and it is also known as sludge age right and it is defined as the average time for which particles of suspended solids remain under aeration so theta c uh, values our mean cell residence time is for from 5 to 15 days or 4 to 15 days right 
so 4 to 15 days is the correct option for this question with this question we have solved some important uh, mcqs which are related to activated sludge process i hope the concept of activated sludge process is now clear with you one more lesson on activated sludge process i will be publishing that will be on modifications of conventional activated sludge process which is very important part as well so friends thank you for watching this video do rate review and recommend my courses and lessons share this video and subscribe us on youtube channel thank you